gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. Moving on to our next topic. I said something about this um, earlier, but our good app Twitter has been rebranded to X. So just to give a little bit of background, um, I was reading an article from the New York Times that says that Elon had laid out the groundwork for the name change for some time. When he bought Twitter last year, he formed a new parent company called X Corp um, for the transaction. Elon envisions X as an everything app that would allow users to share social media posts, order dinner, and transfer money. He said that taking over Twitter was just the first step of his plan. Uh, CEO Linda Yakarino y- y- um, stated that X is the future state of unlimited inter- interactivity. Is that how you Come on, it? reading skills. Come on, reading skills. <laughs> pronounce, pronounce it slowly. Sound it out. <laughs> Sound it out. You got it. Center got in it. audio, video, messaging, payments, and or banking, creating a global marketplace for ideas, goods, services, and opportunities. Just a couple changes that we've already seen in regards to the app. Um, the app itself has changed from the blue bird to the X logo. Tweets are now called posts. Retweets are now called reposts. Um, so basically everything that's tweet related is going out the door and we're about to step into this new era of X. The hot take is, I got a couple. Let's start with the first one. How do we feel about the switch over? It didn't bother me nearly as much as it bothered other people because i was like i mean the app still functions the exact same it does look like a little dating app sitting on my on my um home page on my phone but i mean after you get past that it still functions the same and it being an everything app i'm gonna be honest twitter one x won the war against threads so I mean, it seemed like Elon know what he doing with them little bit of this small amount of developers he got now. So hey, Mike, I'm looking forward to what the future bring. You go ahead, Ralph. I didn't even realize it happened. I, I <laughs> woke up <laughs> and his Twitter app was X. What are these? Right. What are these notifications from X? What is that? No, it wasn't even that. So I I don't know if you guys remember, but the first day, you know, when you opened up your phone, it still showed the Twitter logo, except if you had it in a folder, it would change to X. And I'm like, the fuck is going on? Like, I'm I'm very curious. So I just keep going back and forth. I'm like, is Twitter just changed? Yeah, them automatic updates kicked a lot of people. Yeah. (laughs) Them automated updates got a lot of people. Because it was getting notifications saying somebody from X just uh, commented a like post. What? What is this? I ain't download this on my phone. Right. Look, he, he had to look at his girl. What app did you just put up on my phone? What, what is this? on my phone? <laughs> X. What type of freak nasty stuff is X? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but, but, but I mean, like Ryan said, it's still the same. Same app. Same functions. Nothing really has changed. It's just, you know, a rebrand. That's that's all it is, is a rebrand. HBO Max to Max. Which yeah. makes no sense to me. So I Doesn't. get Elon's plan. My feeling on the switch over is that I get, you know, what the rebrand is supposed to represent. You're trying to push this app into a new era of whatever. But my thing is that you really have to rebrand the app to do that. Because I'm just looking at Meta. And how Facebook has expanded into all of these different avenues, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Business, and things like that. But it, it's still it's still Facebook. It's just expanded. Yeah. Well, the the thing about Meta is that Meta's just a parent company. So, but I didn't know that Elon actually made a new parent company and titled it. What was it? What did you call it? It was X something. X Corp. So it's like what I'm looking forward to is just like how you mentioned Facebook has its extended messenger. Technically, Instagram is under the meta umbrella. Threads is under the meta umbrella. I am interested. Are we finna get secondary apps? Are we finna get our version of messenger? Are we finna get an X marketplace? But everything like that is essentially supposed to be an X. 
So it doesn't mm-hmm. sound like there's going to be a secondary app. It seems like X is going to be everything. But why not just have here's Twitter by X Corp and then go on and building your own app? Well, rebranding it there there are big purpose me- meanings behind it. And even I, with HBO, I get that. Mm-hmm. But like Twitter itself had was I I'm looking at it from the fact that Twitter was unique in itself. There's no other app that has tweets or the tweeting lingo, like re retweeted this or tweet me on Twitter or do this. Like the brand in itself was already so unique within itself. So why just rip all of that out? Why not just build on top of it? Even though I get that, the only thing I will say is that every company in the tech industry is kind of doing that, and that's the trend. Like, even Apple and Samsung, all of these brands have become less and less colorful to where all of their websites, it's just a name in black and white in the top right-hand corner, and that's where you're at. Everything is getting boring, but the purpose of it is also to give a, a idea of pristineness or like mm. um, higher quality. That's mm-hmm. the purpose of it. It's like the reason cars are mostly in gray, silver, and black because it gives off a higher, uh, what would I say, perspective. Mm-hmm. A high, a high. Like you're you're paying for quality. So I get it. X looks cool to me. I, that's all I can say. I I'm not too. I'm not mad about the switch over. I just had I was I just had questions of like you know why, yeah. but yeah. going to Ralph's point like. It still feels like Twitter. So, I mean, I think that the reason why he, why X has won the war against Threads is because not at its core, it did not change. Like, the logo's mm-hmm. different. Tweets aren't called tweets anymore, but it still functions the same as Twitter did. I think if he completely rework the whole application i think we would have had some issues but it yeah. feels like the same application just a new name and he's about to throw some new stuff on top of it it seems Which... like elon is trying to make x into uh equal to facebook yeah that's the vibe that's getting it's mm-hmm. like hey we we try to take facebook's entire audience essentially yeah yeah and how well that will actually go and turn out since, you know, Facebook is Facebook, it's kind of up in the air. I think a certain different demographic will continue to use Facebook. I think the big thing about this rebranding and the appeal of it is supposed to appeal to the upcoming generations. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I have to get X. Oh, I can get on social media now. I have to get X. Y'all, we finna be 40 and we finna be mentioning the word Twitter and little kids can be like, what's that? What was Twitter? Twitter? Are you old? Be like, bro. Yeah. That's, you using it now. So I think a certain demographic is going to continue to use Facebook. And businesses are not going to stop using Facebook. And, and and things like that. But it's just becoming that this is the new generation, the new businesses, the new generation is that, yeah, you need to get you an X account. You don't have an X account. What are you doing? Yeah. And he's fulfilling his promises. We got to give it, we got to give it to Elon. He's fulfilling his promises. When he said he wants to make a content creator economy with them blue checks. And just last week, all these folks who got blue checks um, flexing on everybody saying, hey, I just got paid out. I made $380 off X. Wait, Elon giving me that money. I was like, okay. He fulfilled that promise. He might fulfill some more. I'm yeah. excited to see what comes next. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so you brought about the payouts. Um, my only thing is, is that I did see some people upset with like him changing the name. But like, I think we're just moving into a new era of the Twitter that we knew is not going to exist anymore. Mm-hmm. But the yeah. the core functionality is still there, and I think we just have to adapt to like the new stuff that's coming. Because we can still tweet, you can still retweet, you can still send people DMs, you can still post your videos, your photos, do your hashtags or whatever. Like the core is still there. I think we just have to adapt to the fact that Twitter is X. Like we have to get used to some new terminology, and then whatever the new features are coming out, we just have to. We just gotta adapt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think by the end of the year every everybody that uses X will pretty much just be used to it at that point. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, just one of those connection. things. 
I get it. It's bittersweet because we've been using Twitter forever. Like a lot of people have used that in like their businesses. Like people have used it in songs like Twitter fingers and all that other stuff. Like we've built a lot surrounding Twitter. And I think it's just a bit bitter, bittersweet to let that go and move into a new era. Yeah. Dang, people gonna be listening to Drake's diss track in ten years. What's and Twitter know who fingers? To. <laughs> Tr- trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. What's what are a Twitter, Twitter finger? what, what are Twitter fingers? <laughs> like shut up. Kill you. That means you don't know nothing about this. Oh man. <laughs> but I like that you brought up threads, Ron. Um. I think Threads, it's already been known that Threads is using losing users. And I think we kind of already predicted that that was going to happen with the fact that the features that came out with Threads didn't match up to Twitter. Mm-hmm. So Threads got two things they can do at this moment. They catch up while we're sitting in this transition to X limbo mode. Like everything's not fully, you know, hammered on as X. I just saw a tweet from Elon the other day that he's thinking about changing the logo again. Twitter.com still is still a thing on uh on the browser. He still he still owns it, yeah. Right. So everything hasn't been officially like I won't say officially, everything hasn't been fully transitioned to X yet. So they have some time to beef up that app if they wanted to. Yeah. Or they're going to have to, or if they miss the window and everything officially becomes X and Elon starts, you know, importing all of these new features that he was talking about, they're going to have to pull out something big that X can't do. I feel like folks fell for the hype of threads. And what I what I mean by that is everybody was like, it's so clean cut. It's so nice. It's so unicorns and flowers. And my whole thing is, let's just be honest. People like controversy. You want to know why folks like reality TV? You want to know why we the same, why Rome, the Romans had gladiators and why we got football and MMA now? We like violence. We like arguments. Let's just be honest. It, it sounds bad on paper, but we like it. Y'all like the issues that y'all see on Twitter. Y'all like the arguments. Y'all like it. Let's be honest. There's a reason that someone could get snapped on for being ugly, and that and the and if the um get back was really fire, they get twenty thousand likes. There's a reason for that. Yeah, and I think it goes Y'all into like- the community as I think the biggest thing about it was the community aspect that we were talking mm-hmm. about. It's it's a reason why we engage in the type of content that we do on Twitter. Why our threads, like our Instagram and our Twitter, looks completely different. Like why we engage into the content that we do. And yeah. with threads being like, hey, you can follow all your friends on Instagram. I was like, well, that's not really how my shit is set up on Twitter. So it's already, exactly. you, you're already introducing a disconnect. Exactly. Just from that standpoint. So. Mm-hmm. And we ain't paying for the app. And the thing is, when you, when you understand supply and demand, like, I already got this app over here that does this your app does the exact same thing mm-hmm. but what it does it cost less i ain't paying for nothing is it less data are the videos higher quality when i upload what am i getting oh less than what i got on the original app why would i switch yeah why would i switch yeah i think i think it just takes for me like i said before i think just for me to sit down and actually use threads would just take too much time so where I might as well just go back to X anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then it makes no sense to switch. Yeah. Unless, like I said before, if for some reason Elon just decides to rip out the core of Twitter and just rechange how the app works, I don't think anybody's going to be too upset with this rebrand. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm not going to lie, a lot of stuff on Twitter that at first everybody was getting upset about, I like it now. I appreciate the separation of the for you and following pages now by a lot. I go to my I go to my following page to see all the fat kid deals. I stay on my um for, for you page to see all the fun stuff. Yeah. And it's like, I didn't got, now that I've gotten used to it, I'm like, I can't go back. That's, that's all I'm saying. The spaces look nice. That's all I'm saying is that people just have to adapt. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's it, it's in human nature for us to reject stuff that we don't understand. Why are Seriously you changing? Why are you you know switching from Twitter to X? That's 
you know, we don't like that change. So our first instinct is to reject it. But like mm-hmm. once we actually use it and sit down and just adapt adapt to it, then it's, you know, as you can see, nothing really changed with the app but the logo. Yeah. Exactly. You just got to get past that little small, that first stage. Yeah. Like, I get it. Like, some, I saw some people, like, some content creators are upset because they built a lot of, like, their overlays and stuff around the Twitter logo. Like, when you do social media overlays, like, we even have to change ours at this point. We do. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. So, like, for, I understand the frustration that people have business cards with this logo on it. People have websites. People have overlays. Like, they have heavy pieces of material that goes with their content that fixated on this Twitter logo and now we have to rip all of that out and switch it to be X. So I I got the frustration. And and the frustrations are there, but let's just be honest. It's gonna take less than an hour of sitting down in front of your computer and getting it. it the, done. I mean I get for us Copying and, for us, yeah, us it will take a couple yeah. hours. But if somebody like if we had hired somebody to make an overlay for us, we gotta spend more money just for them to change out a logo. They should make an X deal. <laughs> they should. <laughs> but that, but, uh, they but should I get be. the I get on the business end for content creators and businesses. I get the frustration because mm-hmm. a lot of these businesses outsource. We outsource for a couple of things that we did, and if we outsource for our social media overlays, we was gonna have to drop some money to get that fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So the frustration is understandable, but I think like after a while, after everybody has, you know, sucked it up and changed the logo, then it's 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 not too much you have, you know. We'll be fine. We here. We here. We here. Yeah, it feels like a similar story to um like what's her face from um X Men who be accidentally Jean killing Gray. folks. Or- yeah. Yeah, it it gave me like a similar vibes as her and I was like, okay. Okay, you your character is very more a lot more interesting to me now. That one episode easily pushed her up to top.